I don't know this game. What game? This is for real. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies to watch when you need a good cry. You're so sweet. You're like a little clearance puppy. How are you feeling? Being better. I told you not to fall in love with me. For this list, we'll be looking at those films that should come with a box of tissues. Which flick always makes you cry? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Me Before You. How are you feeling? Being better. This drama goes for the jugular and scores a direct hit. Me Before You centers around the romance between Will, a rich man who's been fighting depression ever since becoming paralyzed, and the bubbly Lou. Okay, you. <laughs> and what do you say? You gonna give me a whirl? While their personalities initially clash, Lou and Will develop a close bond that allows both of them to grow in some ways. Tackling dark and serious themes, Me Before You builds towards a devastating conclusion that will spark tears, be it of sadness or anger. I can't live like this. Please, Will, please. <laughs> While there are plenty of lighthearted and happy moments along the way, they only serve to make the heart-hitting scenes all that more impactful. Number 9. A Walk to Remember You have to promise you won't fall in love with me. That's not a problem. Tears are a staple of Nicholas Sparks' stories, and A Walk to Remember is quintessential Sparks. When the arrogant Landon does something stupid and ends up in hot water, the teenager finds himself mingling with Jamie, a sweet girl with ties to the local Baptist church. Although the two hit it off quickly, High school social ladder dictates these two should not be friends, something that Landon struggles to look past. I told you not to fall in love with me. As A Walk to Remember develops this relationship, Jamie makes Landon a better person, culminating in a tragic final act that also has a few hopeful moments. To honor and to cherish her all, all the days of my life. Of my life. Number 8, Titanic. I'm the king of the world! James Cameron's 1997 epic takes the Titanic tragedy and injects a passionate romance that challenges the social class divide. On this fateful journey, Rose, a socialite betrothed for financial reasons to a much older man, experiences love when she meets Jack Dawson, a charismatic third-class passenger. Flying. Titanic's final act consists of a visually stunning dramatization of the ship's crash and sinking, and the movie doesn't underplay the tragedy of the situation. Promise me now, Rose. And never let go of that promise. I promise. The conclusion of Rose and Jack's relationship will naturally draw tears, but the leads are not the only ones that will get the waterworks going. I'll never let go. I promise. Number 7, Bridge to Terabithia. I don't know this game. What game? This is for real. Disney films are known for having the occasional heartbreaking moment, but Bridge to Terabithia delivers the sorrow without much warning. Your friend Leslie's dead. She drowned in a creek this morning. Permitting someone hasn't read the book, Bridge to Terabithia mostly plays out like a coming of age story about two kids who escape their harsh lives by playing make believe. It's charming, whimsical, and earnest. Well, that is, until an irreversible tragedy hits and leaves the main character, Jess Aarons, devastated. I'm sorry, son. No, you're lying. She's not even dead, you're lying! Jess! Bridge to Terabithia does not glance over or minimize the shock or pain inflicted by this incident, opting to treat its characters and audience with respect. She said if it wasn't for you. Just you're the best friend she's ever had. I want to thank you for that. You're welcome. Number six, Brokeback Mountain. Jack Twist. Amos. You folks just stop at Annis? Set across two decades, Brokeback Mountain chronicles the devastating romance between Ennis and Jack, two guys who fall in love in a world that is not ready to accept them. Following their initial summer together, Ennis and Jack go back to their unhappy lives with the only respite being their trips to meet each other. You got your wife and baby in Texas, and you know, I got my life in Riverton. 
Peppered with many powerful scenes that show how these two are torn apart by the dual lives they lead, Brokeback Mountain clearly highlights the pain endured by not only Ennis and Jack, but also their families. As the movie approaches its crushing climax, Ennis and Jack's futures drift further and further away from the happiness they dreamed of. I wish I knew how to quit you. Number 5. Life is Beautiful Visto che la quota media è 4 marchi al giorno, e i ricoverati sono 300.000. Quanto si risparmierebbe se questi individui venissero eliminati? If nothing else, Life is Beautiful will elicit complicated emotions. Primarily taking place in a concentration camp during World War II, Life is Beautiful approaches its heavy subject material with humor, creating an experience that's equally as likely to provoke a laugh or a tear. Guido is an endless optimist who maintains that disposition even in the most terrible of circumstances. An effort done to keep his son, Giuse, alive. <laughs> While filled with jokes and innocence, Life is Beautiful's fantastical elements are not an escape from the cruel reality, a fact made abundantly clear by the ending. Number 4. The Fault in Our Stars I believe we have a choice in this world about how to tell sad stories. On the one hand, you can sugarcoat it, the way they do in movies and romance novels. Yes, this will need all the tissues. The Fault in Our Stars centers around two teenagers, Hazel and Gus, who are battling cancer. Hi, Hazel Grace. Hi. How would you like to go on a picnic with me? Uh, I, I would love to go on a picnic with you. After hitting it off, eventually, at a support group, the pair takes a trip to Amsterdam in search of a writer and to explore their budding feelings for each other. The Fault in Our Stars does not hide the fact that it wants to draw tears, crafting a story that has just enough cute moments to make the heart-rending scenes all that more impactful. You gave me it forever. <laughs> Within the numbered days. <laughs> and for that, I am... I'm eternally grateful. I love you so much. <laughs> Hazel and Gus are also great together, which does not make things easier. She didn't want a million admirers, she just wanted one. And she got it. Number 3. Marley and Me You're so sweet! You're like a little clearance puppy! Dog movies seem to exist for the sole purpose of making people cry, but they don't all do it as well as this 2008 hit. For the most part, Marley and Me is a charming and light family comedy about an adorable dog and the sweet impact he has on a couple trying to find their footing as newlyweds. Woke up to a kiss from Marley, went for a walk that turned into a run, took an airboat ride, wrote a column about the death of the Everglades. While its gut punches are not entirely backloaded, Marley and Me devotes most of its time to just making its characters likable. Once the movie begins to viciously tug at the heartstrings, it's all in service of characters who are fully developed and relatable. I want you to remember you're a great dog, Marley. You're a great dog. Number 2. The Green Mile I'm tired, boss. I'm tired of being on the road, lonely as a spell in the rain. Based on a novel by Stephen King, The Green Mile is a prison drama with a supernatural edge and humanity to spare. Through a series of flashbacks, Paul recounts a life-changing event he experienced as a correctional officer revolving around an inmate named John Coffey. A long film that mostly maintains a soft tone, The Green Mile is punctuated by sharp flashes of disturbing horrors and uplifting demonstrations of innate goodness. An enigmatic force of nature, Coffey introduces an all-consuming warmth to each one of his scenes, bringing a light to the world that The Green Mile threatens to extinguish. Do you have anything to say before sentence is carried out? I'm sorry for what I am. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Toy Story 3, because childhood doesn't last forever, and Pixar shows that. Now Woody, he's been my pal for as long as I can remember. He's brave, like a cowboy should be, and kind and smart. But the thing that makes Woody special is he'll never give up on you. Inside Out because Pixar's movie about emotions does not neglect sadness. Sadness, it's up to you. Me? Sadness? Sadness? 
I can't, Joy. Yes, you can. Riley needs you. Terms of endearment, because this film fully earns its reputation as a heart-rending classic. You're gonna realize that you love me. And maybe you're gonna feel badly because you never told me. But don't. I know that you love me. My girl, because death does not wait until children are ready to understand it. One go tree climbing Thomas J. His face hurts. And where is his glasses? He can't see without his glasses. <laughs> Put his glasses on. Up. Because this film opens with one of Pixar's most emotionally stimulating sequences ever. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Hachi, A Dog's Tale Go get it. Based on the story of Hachiko, a dog who lived during the 1920s and has multiple statues in Japan, Hachi, A Dog's Tale is all about that unbreakable human and pet bond. Oh, what a good boy! What a good boy! Hachi strips away any fluff and focuses solely on the relationship between a professor and an Akita dog he adopts. The two develop a delightful daily routine that sees Hachi heading to the train station every day to wait for his owner to come home. Unfortunately, nothing lasts forever. Hachi will undoubtedly strike an emotional chord with animal lovers. Oh, you will see. Still Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.